Clay, 1970 was a great year for the Orioles, but for you personally, you'd like to have seen it another way. Oh, I don't know, Jack. Uh, it was uh, comforting and uh, also satisfying to, to be with a group of fellows, at least for half the season, that that, uh, that did the job and, of course, did it very well. I uh, I have no re real regrets about the season. It's the broken ankle is like a you know it's like a thing of the past, forgotten about. It. It's about like a bad dream. Well, I'm glad to hear you say you've forgotten all about it. Is it uh, giving you no trouble at all? <clears throat> no trouble, uh, actually. Uh, I might have gained a half a step somewhere along the way, <laughs> but I uh, I've caught batting practice and of course I've warmed up pitches. We haven't started any games yet, but it's uh, it's come right along and I I have no. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm pleasantly uh, surprised uh, how progress has has been made on my ankle. Uh, they crushed it right good. Yeah, it was broken very well. And uh, <clears throat> Dr. Von Kessler, who is, uh, of course, a very outstanding uh, surgeon, uh, performed, I think, a tremendous job. He must have done just that. It had to be a little frustrating for you at the end of last season, though you were back with a club and working with a club to uh, be sitting entirely on the sidelines watching the championship series and the World Series. Yeah, it was. You know, <clears throat> played the year before, of course, and uh, against the Mets, and uh, I got to play in that one, and I, I certainly wanted to play in another one. Uh, the only trouble is, is I had a thousand batting average, and I didn't want to ruin that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been described as a excellent defensive catcher and a catcher has a lot of jobs to do defense is one of them would you say that's the most important thing or is it handling pitchers or is it what you can do offensively I think if you have a fine defensive catcher and uh, somebody that can throw well and uh, a good handler of pitchers uh, somebody that comes across well with a pitching staff and understands his pitchers uh, you almost have to be a, a mother father to him because each one is individually different and you have to <clears throat> learn how to handle uh, each individual case of course differently but it's a plus if the guy can hit. Uh, it's a Johnny Bench is a, is a uh, something that comes along with a job. We talk about catchers don't hit. Why don't catchers hit? Uh, there's no real reason for it. I <clears throat> think that probably there's a drain on catchers when they're young men and uh, they're coming up. The mother and the father uh, doesn't want their boy to get hurt, and they think catching is the toughest job, and so they try to keep him away from that position. That's probably one drain from catchers. And then, of course, there's... Uh, Another drain on catchers once they do sign, once they do become an outstanding hitter and they get in the minor league system and uh, the organization sees that they can handle the bat so well, they say, gee, you know, he might get a busted finger and he won't be any good to us, so let's put him out in the outfield or put him in first base. And there's another drain on good hitting catchers. So when people say nobody wants to go out for catchers, this isn't true. I think that there are a lot of outstanding boys that, uh, that have probably been moved away from that position simply because they have such an outstanding bat that they're afraid that they might they might get hurt, uh, and they wouldn't be any use to them if they can't hand them in the lineup every day. Clay, I want to wish you good luck in this coming season. You contribute to this ball club, and they know it. Thank you very much, Jack.